What's going on everybody, King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Ultimate Editions, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. And so here we have the Ultimate Edition, Shawn Michaels pose and out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually run through his accessories really fast. Shawn Michaels does come with two head facial expressions. We do get one where he is smirking, looking all cocky. And then we also do get a yelling or angry looking head, which looks really nice. He also does come with three pairs of hands. We, of course, do get a pair of fists for Shawn Michaels. We get a pair of grip hands. We also do get a pair of open palmed hands. And then Shawn Michaels here does come with his entrance vest and his entrance chap, so I really do like that they included that. One thing I do need to point out is that his arms come off. I'm pretty sure they're just reusing the torso, but there's no reason for his arms to come off because he doesn't come with any sleeves, so that's a mystery to me. But anyway, that's Shawn Michaels' accessories. Let's actually go on to his details. Taking a closer look at the Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels, I do have to say that they did an excellent job capturing a young Shawn Michaels. This looks a lot like a very young Shawn Michaels back in his heyday when he was a he was a problem child. I'm just going to say that he really didn't respect anyone or anything and they did capture his cocky attitude perfectly here with this head sculpt. I think this is probably my favorite classic Shawn Michaels. He's all clean cut, no five o'clock shadow, no scruff. Just this pretty boy that you just want to punch him in the face, and I do appreciate that. I do like the fact that his hair is nicely sculpted, although I think some color in these hairbands would have been really nice. Uh, both the heads have this issue that the hairbands are hair colored. I would have liked to see some black or even red hair ties in that. But still, overall, really nice hair sculpt. You can see just how much detail went into it and it almost does look like he has a braid right here so it looks like a braid and then he's just letting his hair hang loose and this is a separate piece from the rest of his hair so that's really interesting i do like that because it does keep everything soft taking a look at the torso i do believe he is using the shinsuke nakamura body if not he's using the finn balor body which there's nothing wrong with that Shawn michaels was pretty in shape back in the day Really do like how they added his chest hair. It looks really good. Never thought I'd say that a man's chest hair looks really good. And then, of course, they did give him his happy trail. One thing I do need to point out is that mine has a red scratch right here. It's red paint, and I'm guessing that came from his tights. Because it doesn't come from his entrance vest, because that's molded in red. So that's actually a red paint that they accidentally got on the figure. Really do like the tattoo that he has here. Unlike the basic figures, unfortunately, we do have it obscured by the peg because they do use a double joint for the Ultimate Editions figures, so that's a little bit unfortunate. Moving on to his wristbands, he does have the Heartbreak Kid emblem where it is white outline with the red details there. So really do like that. And it's the same for both hands, although it is a little bit messy on the hinge. That's really one thing that I don't think any toy company should ever try to attempt. It's paint on the hinge. Uh, you run the risk of getting it paint stuck or worse, having it look sloppy. Taking a look at his entrance, or not his entrance tights, but just his regular tights. Really do like the Heartbreak Kid emblem. You can see the hearts for the most part are done really, really nicely. You can see right here, I do have a little bit of an issue right there, but that's no big deal. On this leg, looking all good. Knee pads look fantastic, turning them to this side. We do have really good Heartbreak Kid emblems right there. Really, really clean job on the all the emblems. So really good job by Mattel there. And it does, of course, say Heartbreak Kid on the back of his tights. Really do like the fact that they included knee pads because I think when wrestlers wear knee pads over, under their tights, it does add some volume to it, so I'm glad that they did include that. Looking at his kick pads, you can see he does have a white stripe going at the top of his kick pad, followed by the traditional HBK kick pad where he has the silver wings with the Heartbreak logo right there. 
really do like that. You can see it continues there. I would have liked to see a unique sculpt for this kick pad. I do believe that this is just a reuse from any elite kick pad. The one that they should be using for Johnny Gargano, but oh, that's another story for another day. Still looking really, really nice. So I do like the way that this figure came out. Really good job by Mattel. So with his details out of the way, let's actually get him compared to other figures you may have in your collection. And so here we have the Ultimate Editions, Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, Pose Next to an Elite, Brock Lesnar, and a basic Jeff Hardy. And so here we have the Ultimate Editions, Shawn Michaels, Pose Next to the rest of the Ultimate Editions line. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually move on to his articulation. Shawn Michaels does have the Ultimate Editions articulation scheme, which he does have a ball joint in the head which looks up and down surprisingly well. I really do like the range of movement in the head. It sits on the neck perfectly and you can see it gets a lot of range. We get head tilt, a lot of attitude with this figure. It does turn left and right. No issues there. His arms are on ball joints. Now if you do push the figure too far, the arms pop off. Uh, it's a good thing that the arms pop off, but I'm wondering why do his arms pop off? They're not supposed to pop off. I'm more than likely going to guess that it's because it's reused torso. But anyway, moving on, arms do go all the way around, no problem. They do go out. We do have a really nice bicep swivel, which works perfectly. Double bend at the elbow, giving us a little better than 90 degrees, so I do like that. We have our traditional swivel and hinge combination here at the wrist. We do have a ball joint at the abdomen. It does go back that far, does go forward only to about that far, so it's not the greatest does lean side to side, get really good movement, and we do get a little bit of swivel, although that's kind of interesting. It swivels to the left, but it doesn't go to the right. I don't know why that is. I, I just review the figure. He does swivel at the waist, so you're going to get most of your rotation right down here. His hips were a little bit loose when I got him out, but I did fix them up, so they do move uh, out or up and down really nicely go out to the side so he can perform sweet chin music. He of course does have a thigh swivel. Double bend at the knee. Works no problem despite having a knee pad. We have a swivel at the kick pad. We have a hinge in the foot which goes back and forward really nicely. We do have a slight rocker ankle and then we do have a really generous toe hinge. So overall really do like the articulation scheme on the Ultimate Editions figures but I do have to point out one criticism about it which I will mention in my final thoughts. So with his articulation detail and everything else out of the way let's move on to my final thoughts. And so here we have the Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels posed for my final thoughts and overall really love the way this figure came out. There's so much to love about this figure. But at the same time, there's a lot of things to hate about this figure. Let's go through some of the negatives about this figure. For one thing, the price point. I do got to mention the price point. This is a $30 figure. Now, $30 is kind of high for a 6-inch figure. And although you do get a lot of accessories, other companies are doing the exact same thing for less. So the Ultimate Edition line being $30 is a tough pill to swallow, especially because... Companies like Hasbro and McFarlane are doing the exact same articulation scheme better and cheaper. So I do have to knock the figure on that. Another thing I do have to point out is the lack of articulation in the torso. Will it kill Mattel to give the Ultimate Editions line better articulation in the torsos? You're paying $30 for this figure. They should at least find a way to engineer better articulation in the torso. Why is that such a hard thing for them to do? It's $30, give us better articulation. It's not something that is out of the realm of possibility. We know it's possible, but Mattel just can't seem to give it to us. Other than that, I still think he's a phenomenal figure. There's a lot of things to like about this figure, like I said. Some things to dislike, and that's really a point of personal preference. Me, I think the Ultimate Editions line is great for WWE fans, although the price point is a tough pill to swallow. Uh, if you are looking for the Ultimate Editions, Shawn Michaels, I honestly have not seen Series 3 or 4. Any This is Series 4, right? Yeah, Series 4. This is Series 4. I have not seen Series 4 anywhere. No Walmart, no Target, nowhere. I actually had to wait for a restock from Ringside Collectibles to pick up Shawn Michaels and Brock Lesnar 
for $60, although they did hike up the price recently, so you are paying about $80 for both of them. I was lucky enough to get them for $60, and that was before Ringside upped the price, so I am thankful that I got them each for $30, but again, that's a tough pill to swallow. You really shouldn't be paying $30 for something that other companies are doing better, but for WWE fans, we're going to buy it anyway, and that's pretty much how it goes. I still love the way this figure came out, so if you do enjoy the Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels, definitely pick him up. I think he's worth the pickup. There are other figures that kind of aren't, but HBK here I think is worth the $30. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other WWE Ultimate Edition reviews. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you'd like to see me review, let me know down in the comments and if it fits in my collection. I'll definitely have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.